Oftentimes I'm asked how to make healthy substitutions when we're preparing foods. Well, the first thing I like to ask my patients is, well, who's preparing the foods? What type of foods do you usually eat? And how those foods are prepared? Those are the first things uh, to think about when we're talking about making small changes for a lasting impact. Once we identify those, those three key factors, then we go into um, how to make those dishes better. The one thing I can tell you without knowing you at all is that no matter what you make, if you add just one more vegetable to the dish or one more fruit to that plate, you're already making a better choice for yourself. Let's say it's Taco Tuesdays, right? Okay, if we're doing tacos at the house, what type of tortillas are we using? Are they corn? Are they flour? Are they, are they whole wheat? Uh, what are we using? And then in addition to that, what are we putting in there, right? I want you to put as many vegetables as you can in there, right? The cool thing about the addition of fruits and vegetables uh, to any dish is that they're full of fiber, they're rich in vitamins and minerals, and they have a low caloric impact, right? So high fiber, low calories, which means it makes you feel fuller without a huge calorie investment. The benefit to that is that it can help you maintain a healthy weight, uh, the added fiber always works to keep you regular. And those added vitamins and minerals um, not only optimize your health, but allows you to eat and function in an optimal way. Now, when it comes to substitutions, um, I always like to opt for fruits and vegetables again. Now, I know it's not the sexiest thing to say, uh, to say add more fruits and vegetables. Uh, a lot of marketing around food is all about new and inventive. Well, guess what? Fruits and vegetables are the easiest thing you can add to a dish without having to go outside your comfort zone. Um, it increases the nutrient content of the dish and it gives you something more. When you're eating foods, you want the most nutritious bang for your buck. And that's an easy way to do it. So when we're talking substitutions, um, in addition to the addition of fruits and vegetables to a diet, you can always swap out uh, beans or plant-based um, options for protein. Or even better, because sometimes I like to talk about the additions as opposed to substitutions, in addition to uh, a meat-based dish, add in mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great way to get the same hearty, meaty texture and flavor um, without the added saturated fat. So as you can see, I'm leaning more towards the addition of plants uh, and fruits and vegetables in some way to enhance the dish. Those are some of the best substitutions.